Baltimore. The transmission went out on it about a year ago. And uh, I've been driving a 2008 Dodge Avenger. This car was a four-cylinder. It was good on gas. And this car took me everywhere that I needed to go. I was really happy with this car. It was my everything car. You know, it, it's kind of, you know, for 13 years, it, it, it's got its fair share of abuse, you know. It's kind of grimy and, and beat up. I was getting to the point where I was going to get a new car, saving up for that. And then uh, this car decided to go bad on me. So, you know, I, my plan wasn't in place and I couldn't implement my plan. So, you know, I decided to give this car to my friend. I don't want to put $5,000 into getting a new transmission put in this vehicle. This car has maybe about one good ding. It's on the side. I was in a parking lot in Ohio and a, and a company truck hit it. Got old stickers that are faded. One was a 2016 Chicago Cubs sticker when he won the World Series. That's a long ways away. So then, you know, my friend gifted me a 2008 Dodge Avenger. And this thing, it's a rust bucket. The top of the car has a big old rust hole in it. You know, where the, uh, it, 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 it was leaking before. That got strained out, but it still got a big old rust hole. The car would fill up with water. I had to drill some holes to release that water. I had a, a broken windshield. I had to have that changed. I still got a crack in the front. I mean, but it was free, you know. It was a, a beater with a heater. And uh, as far as things go, I had to get new struts put on this vehicle. Didn't have any struts. And I also had to get the wheel alignment. So that's where the problem came. I had gotten the wheel alignment. I started realizing that I was getting excessive wear on my tires. And every so often I'd get a flat. And I realized, hey, man, I got to get, get a wheel alignment, you know. And then uh, I, just drug my, I just drug my ass about it didn't do it. So you can see the car, the, the back of the car, the wheels look a little inverted. They look, and, and it caused unusual wear because the camber has to be adjusted. And uh, I, have to, I, went, I took it to get fixed. And he said, it's going to cost me about $1,000 to get those parts. This car's got so many miles on it that I decided not to uh, throw good money at it. Just deal with this until I, you know, can save enough money to go get myself something that's fairly decent. But as far as things go, after the Nissan took a dump, I had money and I went to go see if I could find a used car. And I went and found a Toyota Avalon. I wanted something with a, a, a nameplate that was reliable and Toyota fit that bill. But the thing is that that car didn't fit that bill. That car had a lot of problems. You know, at first it overheated on me after I got the oil. Because when I bought it, I immediately had the oil changed. Then, it, then it, something happened. It, it just started overheating. Didn't want to drive it under those conditions. I took it to a radiator shop. They changed the radiator. I thought it was the problem was solved. If it was solved for a while, then I was driving it. Then one day I couldn't start that car or turn it on or off. And it was because the, the key fob or the button that controls the fob was it was just dead. It was no good anymore. So I spent eight hundred dollars there. Then the car started overheating again. And I just had it. I said, I got to get rid of this car, man. I'll, and I'm not going to sell it to somebody and, and pass that bad karma along. So I decided just to send it to the to the graveyard, man. I got a couple hundred bucks for it. I lost a substantial amount of money. Let's say $4,000, almost $5,000 right there. That could have been my money for a real decent vehicle. But, you know, I got... I, I kicked myself in my own ass. So, you know, this Nissan that I have... You know, I'm not going to spend the 5000 bucks on it. I bought rims for the car, new tires. I sold, I'm going to give the car to my buddy, but I told him, look, man, I want those tires back, and I want those rims back. But, I mean, I'm being honest with you. I'm in a, I'm a, I'm in a transportation desert right now. 
you know you need a car to get around and if you don't have that car to get around it could it could mess up your your opportunity at making money but i'm at the point where if the frustration just keeps coming then i might just cave in and go and go and get a car i can go buy a car but i don't want to pay that that outrageous finance that they want to put on you I just feel better about coming in there with cash and just buying the car outright and not have to worry about interest rates, not worry about monthly car payments, over over bloated uh, car insurance. It's just not my thing, man. And this is this is what, you know, I would if you're watching this video, I want people to be aware that if you're buying a car, you're going to pay a lot of insurance. I mean, not a lot of insurance you're gonna pay a lot in finance charges if, if you're not smart. If you buy, you know, they want to charge you anywhere from 10 to 12, even 20. It's just outrageous. These lending institutions are out of control, and the only way I I know how to combat them is save my money and go buy what I need. But sometimes you're put in a situation where you're gonna to have to spend that money, and if you don't spend that money. You're not gonna have a car, and then you're not. If you don't have a car, you're not gonna be able to go make some money. So yeah, you know the car I'm driving right now, it runs. It's not the best car by no means at all, but that car in itself has even made me money, you know. But I just basically wanted to share this video, let people know that you know got to keep your your options open when it comes to your transportation you know so i hope i help somebody out if not you'll learn <laughs>